Mark Rogers TV on college football, and if the Baylor Bears are going to lose talented football players, this would be the one position where they can spare some abundance of riches. Wide receiver Robbie Rhodes dismissed from the team. We can only speculate on what he did. His dad has confirmed with ESPN that he has been kicked off the Baylor Bears football team. He had a marijuana issue in May. We don't know if this is related. Okay, Robbie Rhodes gone after catching 10 passes as a freshman. So big deal. Well, he was the third rated wide receiver in high school football coming into the college ranks from Fort Worth a couple years ago. And again, as a freshman, 10 receptions. Well, Baylor's loaded at wide receiver, of course. They've got um, Antoine Goodley coming back for his senior season after catching 71 and 13 touchdown passes. Tevin Reese gone to the NFL, so they take a big hit there. But they've got experience and they've got just a ton of burners. Clay Fuller, uh, he's a senior. He caught... Uh, 32 passes, three touchdowns, and one of those in the Fiesta Bowl. Like this kid, Corey Coleman. Uh, he's a sophomore. As a freshman, he caught 35 passes, including a touchdown against Central Florida in the Fiesta Bowl as well. You've got Levi Norwood, 47 receptions, eight touchdowns. And again, despite Baylor losing in the Fiesta Bowl, he caught a touchdown in the bowl game against the Knights of Central Florida. Bryce Petty, considered a Heisman Trophy candidate. I believe he's a bit overrated. Not a knock on his skills, but if you look at the productivity against the bad teams, and Baylor certainly plays a ton in the non-conference season, and they did last season, we have yet to break down their schedule in 2014, but Petty really feasted, and the offense really feasted against the bad teams. They performed against the good teams, but didn't tear up Oklahoma despite the scoreboard. We know it was 41-12, but that was the defense creating problems for the Sooners. They did not... Uh, light up the scoreboard against the Kansas State type defenses, the better defenses in the Big 12. And again, against Central Florida, I'm sure they put points on the board, but Central Florida's defense last season, not the best. And Baylor had some issues in losing by 10 points in that bowl game. So again, Robbie Rhodes kicked off the football team. He would have been a sophomore after catching 10 passes. It's more the potential of what he could have been in Waco as the third-rated wide receiver coming out of high school. Lake Seastrunk gone from the running game, but of course you got uh, Shaq Linwood and his 900 yards rushing from last season. He will be the name number one main contributor to this Baylor rushing attack to balance off all that skill at wide receiver. All right, Baylor fans, uh, talk to us about your offense. Uh, there's a lot to talk about. Are there any concerns out there for the Baylor offense in scoring a ton of points and trying to defend a Big 12 championship? Let's talk about it right here on Mark Rogers TV.